We're going to get started with just a, a, a quick review of the controls on the G707 guitar. There's a balance control. There's the uh, mode control. Here's mode one, which is basically nothing because it should be hex fuzz and there's no hex fuzz circuit in the guitar. Mode two. And which should be hex fuzz and synthesizer and mode 3 which is synthesizer only we'll be adding the hex fuzz sound with the SBC 1324 the first knob is your filter cutoff the next knob is resonance we'll uh, crank that up about 60 percent and then the last knob is uh, LFO or vibrato and with the G707 guitar you have to use these little uh, touch pads in order to uh, to get the guitar to work and the touch pads are located they're these little metal contacts ab uh, above the uh, top of the back pickup and the bottom of the uh, back pickup and so we're going to hold a chord we're going to turn up the LFO depth Probably better in concept than uh, in uh, execution. And that's the uh, lock pad. Okay, and that's using the LFO um, touch pads to turn the LFO on and off with the guitar. Now, with the SBC 1324, we can transfer each one of these controls, each one of these control voltages from the guitar to the SBC for further processing. So we'll start off with the filter. I will uh, flip the uh, filter switch up and when I do the associated red LED turns on and now I have the the same filter control moved from the guitar to the SPC uh, 1324 we can do the same thing with resonance flip the resonance switch the light comes on we'll put that around 60% and sweep the filter and then we can add uh, LFO. Now LFO is a little different from the other control voltages because it has a dedicated foot switch for the LFO. And, and notice that when I turn the LFO on, the foot switch uh, LED came on as well. That tells us that the LFO circuit is active. As a performance feature, you can turn LFO on and off with your foot. Certainly a lot more reliable and understandable than using those weird little touch pads. And uh, of course, it's possible to have the, the LED on at the top here that says that you're controlling the LFO with the SBC 1324, but have it off at the switch because you, you don't want to hear the LFO at that time. And the other control is pitch. Pitch is not supported by the GR300, so we're going to skip over pitch for now. Under audio processing, we have two controls. The first one is balance. I'll flip up the switch to turn the balance control over here. The red LED turns on. Clockwise is all synth. And counterclockwise is all guitar. Now another exciting addition to the SBC 1324 is a hex fuzz circuit. I flip the hex fuzz switch on, you'll see the LED turns on, letting you know that the hex fuzz circuit is active. And an additional LED turned on down here that says fuzz bright, meaning that the bright switch is engaged. We're going to use the mode switch on the guitar to switch back to mode 1. Previously we didn't hear anything, now you hear the sound of six little fuzz boxes. fuzz bright switch off. It's hex fuzz as the Roland engineers originally intended. And with 
with the bright switch on, you hear the unfiltered direct hex fuzz sound. And you'll notice that like the LFO switch, the LED for the foot switch does not come on unless you actually tell the SP1324 that you want to control that from the SP1324 and, and not from the guitar. Because it wouldn't make sense to have the hex fuzz light going on and off if you were using a different hex fuzz sound like one, say, from a G303. And if we had a G303 hooked up uh, in the guitar position, you would hear the hex fuzz circuit internal to the guitar. Last but not least is the mode switch control. We're using the mode switch in the guitar, so synth down is hex fuzz. In the middle position is hex fuzz and synth. And switch up is synth only. And we just simply flip the switch up on the unit. The associated red LED turns on. Switch down, it's hex fuzz. Middle is hex fuzz and synth. And then switch up is synth only. Okay, now that we've transferred all the control voltage sources from the guitar over to the SBC1324, we can do more than just duplicate the controls of the guitar on the SBC1324. We can use external control voltage sources to manipulate the uh, sound of the GR300 in, in a way that was not possible before. And we do this using external control voltage sources scaled in the standard 0 to 5 volts scale range. And... For this example, we'll be using a Moog MP201 control voltage pedal. Uh, we'll start with uh, all of our parameters off. I've got the filter wide open. And the, uh, the GK mode is uh, synthesizer only. So I'm just going to plug the, uh, the Moog pedal in to the jack on the back that says filter CV input. I'm going to turn the front panel CV control all the way down to zero. And we're now controlling the filter cutoff with the Moog pedal, and I'm going to crank up the uh, resonance, and we can hear the uh, resonance effect as well. And of course we can do more than just a, a simple sweep, we can also use the LFO features of the Moog MP201 pedal. So let's call up a different patch. Here's a, here's a triangle patch. And the external control voltage source still works with the front panel control, so I can add in more filter brightness. Uh, while I play by turning the front panel filter knob. So the two controls actually work together. And I'll now use it to put the uh, Moog pedal back in. And we're back in expression control. And we'll use it to control the, uh, let's say, the LFO depth. So I just move the cable to LFO depth. And I need to be sure to hit the front panel vibrato LED switch. Let's turn the amount down to zero. The front panel foot switch sort of acts as a master on off for the LFO sound. So you always know uh, if this switch is off, there is no LFO going, regardless of anything else that's uh, any other settings that you have. And we can do the same thing for resonance. I have it plugged into the resonance jack. I'm going to turn the resonance control all the way down on the guitar. sweep in the filter. Now we'll add some resonance in with the Moog pedal. And we'll put the Moog pedal on, uh, how about that triangle patch again? 